humility is the decoration of the Brahmins, is the saying which goes in India. If you are humble and you are eager to do the right thing, you get enlightenment. Everything will work out in your favor. But this humility takes quite an effort because it will be tested when you live together with others. For example, for a vacation or for the student times or for the old age, it's totally recommended to share with others spiritual environments, ashram atmosphere, where few people live together for only one goal, to please the center of all of them, that which connects them, that which gives their life a true meaning. And this sharing and working all together for this one goal without any other uh, selfish hidden motives, that changes one's consciousness significantly. So, therefore, if you cannot live in a community, you have to do all this process by yourself at your home, then you have to be at least thrice as careful because now you have to watch yourself. There's no sadhus, no guru which is going to pull your ear when you're ignorant and acting wrongly. So you have to uh, go by the books and by the maybe communications you have over the writing of letters and so. But it's definitely more difficult to have a high standard of consciousness when you're just living by yourself and to have a detached mood because you would then the work you do or whatever you ma effort you make to actually make it an offering to God, it's a real task. You really have to do some sacrifice because otherwise, how, is, how are you going to say my life is just like everybody else's life? but my is yogi life, my is austerity for higher purposes. But in the practice, you don't do anything. That will not bring you the desired result. So you have to do something about this. So therefore, we have to always check with more advanced people whether our lifestyle, our activities are really acceptable. They are really conducive to spirituality. And all the other things are definitely good recommendations and details like chanting humbly the names of God, but humbly is again. How do you learn to be humble if you live by yourself or everything you do is only focused on your own desires, your decoration of your apartment or your other little selfish vacation desires and this and that, but you don't help any project of spiritual enlightenment in this world. Therefore, naturally, our... Uh, God brothers and God sisters, I've seen they've always helped someone of they did the job themselves where the whole world was going to be benefited or at least some people will be benefited separate from themselves. They can really renounce the fruits of their activities and offer them to the pleasure of God. Those who cannot do that Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, they should at least offer the fruits of their work to the welfare of others. And those who cannot do that, they should at least practice some austerity, chant some mantras. But they should cultivate divine knowledge. But it's very clearly understood that sacrificing your energy for the sweet will of God will put you in the highest, most privileged and most blessed position in this world because God is the well-wisher of everyone and when he is pleased and what you do for him it certainly will be a blessing for all other living entities as well so basically you can judge by this consideration what you do in love you do for the welfare of others what you do in lust you do for your selfish means so therefore our spiritual teachers have taught us how to conquer lust through dedication in spiritual